this whole platform was, you know, one, our people seeing our people, even other people seeing our people engaging and being able to share at the level that we can, because as you know, we're so often shown and seen in a light that isn't reflective of, you know, who we are totally. And in that sense, I know, bro, when I was seeing what your information, like, <laughs> it's like I've got to catch things, you know, pull it in, rain it down. I'm like, yeah, you've got your thrilled on that front. So I want to bring it back to something that I relate to as well. And it makes me think of um, a brother that I'm connected to that I think you know as well. But we're going to just come back down to earth because he was out there and I want to stay out there, but I want to go back to the ground real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice though. Because, um, but theme off. That's one. Mm -hmm. Because in that whole experience while you was in the UK, that was my true initiation into the cuisine of KT as well as the CMOS production of KT as well. You did um, get to have some food. I did make some food over here. Yeah, right. man, yeah, man. And I can still taste the food, you know. I remember it's very unique things <laughs> that I had not tasted before in the way that was pulled together, you smashed it. It was a raw thing that you done, I remember that. And the CMOS, I'll give testimony to it to this day, you know, just for the the vital, the vitality that, you know, that it offered. And uh, me and my homeboy, Chris, who I know I'm sure you, he's, connected on Instagram at least. I'll pick up a shout out to Chris Steele because he's been lining me up with some CMOS gel. But I've really, I, I'm now I've, I'm, I'm now there, bro. I'll be making my gels and stuff and been speaking with Chris a lot about it. So can you share or highlight, because that was my initiation, like you got the DMT, I got the CMOS. Right, 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 right. <laughs> right. right. Yeah, man. So uh, well, can you speak um, on the CMOS, bro? I know it's, again, it's loaded. There's a lot of adverts that I see popping up on Instagram and stuff now and branding. Yes, yes, so can you just share what we know? See moss or Irish moss? This 2020 has definitely been the moss year, the year of the moss. Um, and it's interesting because, um, you know, it wasn't too many people that was dealing with sea moss. You know, you go to a Caribbean spot, you might find some Irish, Irish moss drink in the fridge. Um, but for the most part, like you really didn't hear about it. You'd see carrageenan on the ingredient list of a lot of um, cosmetics and, you know, as a stabilizer and, 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 and sauces and things like that. But in terms of it being a mainstay in people's cupboard or pantry, no, um, I would like to give a lot of credit to Dr. Sabi for that and my family too, because between me, my brothers and my mother, like we really, and Sabi, of course, we all really pushed um, CMOS in the, the late 90s, early 2000s to the point where, you know, this year, everybody's on it. Now, what CMOS is, even though it's called CMOS, is a algae, technically, it's not a moss, um, it's an algae. And there are three different types of algaes. Um, there's probably more, but I know the three basic ones are red, green, and brown. Green you see with things like chlorella um, or even wakame. Uh, brown you see with bladderwrack or kelp um, or kombu, where MSG was isolated from, the neurotoxin. And then red would be dulse. Gracilaria, which is the form of sea moss that is usually pulled out of the Caribbean, Jamaica, and everything like that. Um, and then there's Chondrus crispus, which is the mm -hmm. one that I deal with, and the one that really comes from where you are, too. Because yeah. when you hear the term Irish moss, That's but you're in a Jamaican restaurant, you're like, <laughs> why well, you know, I, I don't understand. But that's because Ireland, as well as London, the UK, y'all represent part of a ring that continues to the northern United States as well, where on the coastal regions, you have these algaes that um, grow from the rock. So a lot of the rocks in the ocean are saturated with minerals. And what these um, stop fast, um, I think that's what they're called, stop fast, they, they're like root structures, so to speak. Um, they attach to these rocks and what happens is they start to liquefy the rock. They start to digest the rock. And these, these minerals that are released are ions, ions now. And the difference between a mineral and an ion is an ion has a charge. So because it has a charge now, it could become bioavailable to the body. So the essentially what, what these algaes are able to do, specifically the conscious crispus I'm speaking on now, is they're able to be a plant 
so to speak, all pun intended. And a plant angle that connects those two as well. Yeah, as what we. Yep, as well as in the soil, you got the you got the mycorrhiza. You have the uh, mycelium network mm -hmm. that plays an intermediary between the minerals that exist in the soil and what is soaked up through the roots. So definitely, matter of fact, there are um, mycosporin-like amino acids. These are called MAAs. They are found in the sea moss. They protect the, the plant from the UV radiation and convert it into energy inside the same thing that melanin does for us, the MAA does for the sea moss. But it's called mycosporin-like. Now, we know what mycos is. Mycos, fungi all day. We know what spores are. Yeah. So they call it mycosporin. So there's these amino acids that act like fungi, mm. okay? And um, they, they help with the growth and the maintenance of the plant as well. So uh, sea mosses and algaes are really mineral factories. These are bioavailable mineral factories. And other than the minerals inside, they are their cellular, their cellular wall and their whole structure is composed of um, um, galactin, which is galactose sugars, um, with sulfate groups attached. So you get sulfated molecules, you get large quantities of oxygen, and you get galactose, um, which is a sugar that is very necessary to our diet, you know, and to our body. Um, and this plays a role of a demulcent, which is something that soothes our mucus lining, our respiratory mm -hmm. system, our digestive system, woman's vaginal orifice, you know, and canal. Um, as well as um, it plays a huge role in being an antiviral because those polymers that the sulfur and the galactose are made out of, they are, you know, when you're trying to open up a door and you break a key in a lock mm -hmm. and you can't get in no more. So viruses have a uh, protein that is able to act like a key in the lock of our receptors to enter our cells. Right. What CMOS has are these polymers that prevent the carrageenan uh, uh, polymers that actually act like a key getting broken a lock. So they can no longer access mm. it anymore to enter inside, you know. Um, so CMOS helps with digestion. It helps with the skin, hair, and nails. It's, it's, a, it's a vitamin factory, mineral factory, um, um, helps with the libido. So men that take sea moss on a regular occasion, they're not going to have any problems in the bedroom. Women that drink sea moss on a regular occasion, they're not going to have any problems either. It's going to be a great old time. <laughs> That's what I bear witness to, bro. I'm saying. Uh, I know I like, what's you know KT, that bro? What's, what's he putting in the sea moss, man? It's, it's I, I'm just a messenger. <laughs> I'm just a messenger, man. When you get the right gas and the right fuel, the machine works right. You know what I'm saying? Shizzle, so, shizzle. you know, we've been we just been putting the wrong stuff in us. So, um, you know, being in the UK, y'all got great access to to sea moss over there. It, I mean. You know, um, Ireland and and that that uh, that herb shop that uh, Lorna took took us to. Um, when I saw those sea moss flakes they had, they were so clean. They were so nice. I wanted to take all of that back home with me. I was like, I need to talk to you. I need to just get you to send me some because they have um, y'all have great quality moss over there. That's all I gotta say. Y'all don't have to get none from the Caribbean because y'all grow it all there. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it's natural you don't want to deal with all the farm rays because the farm rays they're just attaching it to ropes and yeah they're getting some minerals but you want the ones that that grow from the rocks yeah. that's what you want just so the people know they're all along the cornish coast you know so you yeah, don't have to get over to know. ireland because when people think of ireland it's it's all over there but we got it it's, it's the same you know the same um irish sure. moss is the cornwall moss you know it's you know is there video? I already know you know. I know once I gave you that little bit, that's all it took for you, man. Yeah. You but know. yours on some kernel. You got you had you had to well one or two because I just try to start whipping up the gel. I'm like, nah, this gel is not the same gel as KT's, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, yeah, you got the recipe, man. You got the recipe. Well, yeah, yeah. The C3, um, definitely inspired by my mother. Um, you know, she she really started making um a enriched gel, um, which she she's probably the first gel person. Um, cause people were not selling gel at all. Not even Sabi. He wasn't even doing that, you know, 
So I would have to give her credit to being the first person that I know selling gel and then selling an enhanced gel. Um, so, you know, I sell, I sell uh, sea moss um, as an elixir, very concentrated, um, 16 ounce bottle, you get a, a two cups of tea. I don't know, that's great for UK because y'all do y'all tea. So you got enough tea to last you all month long, two sittings a day in a little 16 ounce bottle because it's concentrated. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, that's the one that I had out there. And um, it's definitely evolved since you've had it, you know, it's, it's, it's on a whole nother, it's on a whole wow, nother level. Wow, wow. Um, and it's in glass. I don't know. I don't think it was in glass back then. No, it was. It was. It was. It was. I must have still got some of the jars. I still got some of the jars. Yeah. I must have just changed it. The labels changed. Um, but yeah, it was in plastic before then. Um, and I think when I came out there, we just switched over maybe a month prior or something like that. Mm-hmm. But um, but yeah, man. Um, CMOS is everything. I would suggest everybody to get it. Um, if I could sum CMOS up, I'll just put it this way: Conjus crispus translates into curly cartilage, curly cartilage. Mm. And what CMOS is essentially is a plant analog to human tissue. I'm gonna say that again. It is a plant analog to human tissue. If you take a pan or a griddle and put it over a flame till it gets hot, mm-hmm. and you take some of that gel and spread it on that pan, mm-hmm. it's going to crisp up and turn to a layer of skin. Wow. Yes. So healing, new tissue, organ failure, you know, any problem in your body, sea moss is going to address it in one way or another. Because it 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 is a plant analog. When I say analog, I'm trying to say that it's a it's the same thing, but it's the plant version of it. Gotcha. So you incorporate this plant version of tissue in you, and this tissue gets amalgamated into your system to restore and replenish and renourish. Wow. So, bro, can you just confirm for me um, what's the LD50 on CMOS? Oh man, you can eat. <laughs> Man, ain't none that I know of. Ain't <laughs> none. Ain't none. All right. you can eat so I, can, I, I, I don't have to restrict to two cups of tea a day. I can put it in a smoothie. I can slap it put in it a smoothie. smoothie. Yeah. And it's it's multi. It's not just used for medicinally. You can use it as a stabilizer. And like, if you cook in vegan food, you want to make cheesecakes and puddings, meringues and whips and things like that. You would use the sea moss as a as a chemistry ingredient, an ingredient to assist in the structural integrity of meals, um, to 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 help um, get certain textures and things of that nature. Then when you get in the cosmic area, the cosmetic area, um, have you put gel on your face yet? Not intentionally. Yes, I know, right? Not intentionally. <laughs> <laughs> so apply gel to your face and let it dry up. It's going to pull all the impurities and heavy metals out because it's a, a, a natural chelator and it's going to tone your skin and feed your skin. Oh. You could put the gel in your hair, let it dry, go rinse it out in the water. Your hair is going to be silky smooth. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's topical as well as ingestible as well. It's, an, it's, an, it's, it's what you would consider a panacea, you know, something that kind of addresses all things from every angle. It's, mm-hmm. it's very amazing. The, the, yeah, no, I like to think my skin's like glowing at the moment because I've been recently using a sea moss soap. Oh, no. <laughs> I was gifted, I was gifted from when I was in Jamaica. Yeah, I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, yeah, feeding myself, man. <laughs> so, yeah, you that multi Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. So I know they're open. Matter of fact, you just posted one about, I think, a sensor. There's a psilocybin sensor. That's, that's just right. Yeah, there? that's right. Yeah, last year. Okay, so have you been there yet or? I'm familiar, yeah, it's based on the university. It's at the university campus down at the okay, university. Well, send whatever info you got on that, send that to me because I have a um, I have a client I'm dealing with and they need to go there <laughs> where it's nice and legal and they can take their time. You know what I'm saying? Um, sure, sure. But I saw that article and I, and I said, I got to ask him about that. Yeah, man, yeah, man. You know, there's pros and cons to it all. As you know, you know, we're in the land of Jamaica and... Jamaicans themselves don't really know what's going on from as I understand the people in the right places do. You've got Americans, Canadians, British and others that are over there 
taking full advantage as they do, you know, as we've seen history shows itself. So uh, my time over there was engaging, surveying, observing, seeing what's going on, engaging our community and what the current climate over there and the opportunities for us to, you know, be involved, you know, have a say, have an influence. Man, that's the spot, boy. You want to build a nice little spot. That's the spot to do it at because it's all popping right now. Yeah. I know Michigan, um, they decriminalized it there um, in Michigan. Um, so that that's another step, you know, and I think it's going to it's going to move out throughout the country because, you know, there has to be another side to all the crazy going on right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we got the vaccines, we got the chip in, we got the Corona and all that crazy stuff. So that the, the, the um, elections, the new leadership, you know, administrations and everything. So there has to be a flip side. You know, such as the, you know, Jupiter and Saturn that's going on in the sky right now. You know, there's, 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 there's a lot happening on both sides. Mm -hmm. You know, you just mm -hmm. need to be more aware, you know, so you can be prepared and ready for change. For sure, for guaranteed. sure. Change is guaranteed. Yeah, man, the technology's there, whether we're dealing with physical health, mental health, you know, um, I think it's just about, yeah, engaging in this technology now and applying it in ways where we can kind of create our own reality going back to Jamaica and, and what the point I make is in not being dependent upon a psychedelic research center for us for our liberation you know not waiting for decriminalization you know there's all of that I'm all for that but I'm all for like we got we, yeah we're a change <laughs> the shift we need to take responsibility you know right yeah, yeah. No, no time like the present yeah yeah for sure